Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listened to them talk, kept my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. This is an interesting bug that I've just found. Life's hard here. First, Especially for them. No, one don't of the bugs so I've well. found. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their here, power. I guess. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's The dialogue is very steady Max, and his name is. echoey. Not sure why. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. How about here? Is it still up here? Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Where is she? Ah, this this she is. Where are we headed? Okay, now it's fixed. Good. <laughs> 